name is Erika and today I'm here to teach you how to make a self-watering vase using nothing but a pet bottle, some string, in my casing I'm using a very thick one but that's not really a problem, you can use a thin a string but you, that in that case you're going to need four pieces, okay? If you're using a thick string, you can use only one piece, okay? I'm also using a very sharp knife, okay? A pair of scissors, I have some soil, and here I have this plant that I needed to repot because it's, it's starting to get a little to dry okay so in your pet bottle you are going to cut using the knife okay i usually cut around here yes so that i get a very good uh vase for in this case for a small plant yeah and also a lot of space to put some water because we are going to attach this to the bottle okay so i'm going to cut here very carefully not to cut myself yes What I get is like this cup and I space to put the water, okay? I am going to make a, a small cut to the cap, okay, to the bottle cap. And this is the place where we are going to have the string go through, okay? So I'm going to cut in the shape of an X, also very carefully, not to cut myself, because these things are very sharp, yeah? So it's going to be like this, okay? Now I'm going to get the string. I am going to measure the size that I want it to be. I don't want it to be too big. And then I cut it and I put it through the hole in the bottle cap. Okay, so it's going to be like this yeah I reattach the bottle cap to the top part of the bottle which is going to serve as the face yeah I'm going to add some soil here I'm using my hands to do that but you can use maybe a, a spoon or if you have the the right materials for gardening you can use them as well and now I am going to get my plant here I am making a mess this is a huge mess but that's fine I'm going to clean it up after very carefully I remove the plant with the roots yeah and then I use the rest of the soil from the vase to complete and to make it steady 
So I'm going to leave this string here because the string is going to suck on the water and water the plant without me getting worried. I'm just gonna have to pay attention when the water in the self-watering vase is almost completely gone and then I'm going to complete it again. If you want, you can decorate, you can paint, you can use a permanent marker to make it more beautiful. I'm just going to leave it like this, as it is, and I'm going to put on my window. I'm going to complete with water here, not too much water around here because I don't want it to go inside the bottle so i'm going to put the water around here i'm gonna go put the water and i'll be right back. here we go here we have our self-watering vase made out of a pet bottle it's a very nice way of keeping your plants alive if you are a little lazy sometimes and you don't really remember uh, to water your plants uh, every time they need to so you just need to pay attention here yeah I hope you enjoy it and that's it see ya